are on a job site where we're doing electrostatic painting on some new fences. This will give you an opportunity to see how the uh, product works. This is the machine that we use to paint the metal fences electrostatically. It's an electrical machine and we've got a wire that is grounded into the ground and then we have a small hobby sized air compressor that puts a little bit of air pressure inside of this uh, pressure pot that has paint in it and then what it does is that little bit of pressure squirts the paint through the hose and up to this gun and there's a high voltage electric charge at this gun and at the end this tip rotates and there's a little plastic tube that squirts paint into it. And if the paint was just into that spinning tube, or spinning um, disc, it would just fling it all over the place. But the high electric charge atomizes it, and when it, the gun gets close to the surface, then the, the, the paint particles are attracted to the metal. What we're showing here is the way that he paints a panel of fencing and noticing that the paint as it's coming out of the gun, not only does it paint the side that he's working on, but it wraps through and uh, starts painting on the far side as well. Now that he's gone around and got most of the angles and stuff with the first coat of paint on it, now he's going to go through back over and applying some additional material to the side of the fence that the paint was just coming through and sticking to. What this does is ensure a good complete coat and also there's additional paint going on to um, the original side that he was working on. Going over this twice and just getting more and more coverage as we're going um, is a lot more efficient use of our painting time. Other types of painting require that you have to go two passes um, on each side for a total of four different times over the fence. And they have to all be complete passes. 